Hello student, my name is Hridesh and you are watching my channel, Your Classroom at Home. If you really want to increase your mathematics skills, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel. A student, in today's lecture, I am going to solve a good question on the basis of application of trigonometry. Question says, if the angle of elevation of a cloud, if the angle of elevation of a cloud from a point of a cloud from a point at meter above a lake at meter above a lake is found to be alpha and the angle of depression of its reflection in the lake of its reflection In the lake is found to be beta. Then show that the distance between the cloud and the point of observer is distance between cloud and point of observer is 2h sec alpha upon 10 beta minus 10 alpha 2h sec alpha upon 10 beta minus 10 alpha. So student, first of all, I will draw the figure of this question. Let's say, this is our lake. And our observer is standing h meter above the lake. Let's say this is our observer AB. And the angle of elevation of the cloud is found to be alpha from the point of observer. So this angle will be alpha. Let's say this point is C, this is D and this is point E. And it is given that the angle of depression of its reflection in the lake is found to be beta. By the law of reflection, we know that CE is equals to EF. Since we know that the distance of the object from the mirror is equals to the distance of the image from the mirror. So, CE is equals to FE. By the law of reflection by the law of reflection if AB is H then DE is also H let CD is X so the height of the cloud from the lake will be X plus H and Fe will, will be x plus h. Therefore, df will equals to 2h plus x. df is equals to 2h plus x. Now consider right angle triangle CDA. In 
in right triangle CDA CD upon AD let's say AD is Y therefore CD upon AD is equals to tan alpha CD is X and AD is Y therefore x upon y will equals to tan alpha then y will equals to x upon tan alpha let's say this is our first equation now consider right angle triangle ADF now in right triangle ADF DF upon AD is equals to tan beta and DF is equals to 2x plus x and AD is y therefore 2x plus x upon y will equals to tan beta now find the value of y from this equation 2x plus x upon tan beta is equals to y. Let's say this is our second equation. Now comparing first and second. Therefore, x upon tan alpha will equals to 2x plus x upon tan beta. By comparing 1 and 2 x upon tan alpha is equals to 2x plus x upon tan beta. Now try to find out the value of x. So cross multiply these parts. This will be 2x tan alpha plus tan alpha into x is x tan alpha now transpose x tan alpha to the left hand side taking x as a common factor this will be tan beta minus tan alpha is equals to 2x tan alpha therefore x will come out as 2x tan alpha upon tan beta minus tan alpha 2x tan alpha upon tan beta minus tan alpha now put the value of x in equation first so put x is equals to 2x tan alpha upon tan beta minus tan alpha in first equation so y will equals to 2x tan alpha upon tan beta minus tan alpha into tan alpha tan alpha and tan alpha will be cancelled out so y will equals to 2x upon tan beta minus tan alpha now further consider right angle triangle CDA in right triangle CDA sec alpha will equals to AC upon AD AC upon AD is equals to sec alpha AD is here Y. So AC upon Y will equals to sec alpha. Y will equals to 2H upon 10 beta minus 10 alpha. Now put the value of Y. Therefore AC is equals to Y sec alpha. This is the required distance between the point of observer and the cloud.
So student, in today's lecture, I have solved a good question on the basis of application of trigonometry. So keep watching my videos and keep practicing. Thank you. Take care.